All right, now we're going to talk a little bit about wheel bearings. There's two trains of thought on the wheel bearings. The casing or soles are set up to be greased with a fitting on the wheel or the rim. But with sealed bearings, the grease would never hit it. So if you're going to be greasing your tractor, then absolutely pack them and pull this inner seal out. If you don't plan on greasing it all the time, or whoever is going to be using it probably won't do it, then you're better off with the sealed bearings as the grease stays in there and they last quite a long time. So it's up to you, but we recommend greasing your tractor anyways because there's a lot of other points that should be and have to be greased on it. But on the same token, we have a lot of customers we know that have never seen a grease gun or will never grease the, the, the tractor, so we put the sealed ones in for them. So it's a kind of case-by-case -case basis. Um, these are flanged wheel bearings, so they can only go in one way. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a there's a lip on the outside here. And they go in the rim. And there's two per wheel, per rim. Now, if you want to know how to pack them, it's pretty simple. Just take a, a pick. If yours are sealed, if they're not sealed, then you're going to pack them the same way. But you can just... Get under just the outside edge here. There we go. And there's your bearings in there. And for these little guys, they're just simple. Take your grease and just push it in. So you get that side full. You can do the palm of the hand method, but these tiny little bearings really not necessary. It goes quick like this, and you can apply plenty of pressure. Get that grease in there. You see that there? Just keep packing it until it won't take any more, essentially by hand. Can you see that? And then just spin the bearing both directions. It'll work its way in. Repack it down. And then install your bearing like this. You don't put the seal back on if you're going to keep packing them. You can if you don't plan on packing them again. But it's a lot easier to, to leave the seal off and let the grease from the grease fitting on the wheel get itself in there. So we'll pack one more for you. Again, put the sealed bearing. Pop the seal off. Usually if you just get on this outer lip, they pop off pretty easy. Yeah, this one goes nice. Get underneath that outer lip, just give it a little tug. So these bearings actually have a metal ring in the plastic, keeps the integrity. So since you're putting the seal back on, be careful, you definitely want to keep the seal in good shape. Again, just kind of force the grease down in there with your finger. These do come pre-greased, but we like to put a better quality grease and make sure we know where there's enough in there. Takes a few seconds to do it right. Any good quality grease, it's a lot more. It's not doing 90 miles an hour. Not a lot of load on these. So just keep packing it in until it won't go in anymore. Grab the outer race, spin them in opposite directions, reverse the direction. And as you can see, that works the grease in. And if it looks like it can take some more, give it some more. Done with that, just give it a quick wipe down on the outside. Take your seal, the metal side if it's got one in. Gently work it around like that. And it's ready for insert.
So I'm going to show you to replace wheel bearings on basically any kind of lawnmower, garden tractor, wagon, wheel barrel, etc. Pretty simple. You want to make sure you clean up the outside here so none of this grime and dirt falls in as you're knocking bearings out. Do it on both sides. A little cleaner if you need it. These wheel bearings come with our wheel bearing kit and also on our full front upgrade kit and they, uh, they'll work on basically most garden tractors as long as you're an axle shaft or the same size but this is how you do it so you want the bearing to be able to fall through wherever you are so either put it up on a couple blocks or lift it up off the ground otherwise you'll be banging against the table on the back side now this is a bearing race punch it's oval on the end but you can use a heavy duty pry bar or any kind of punch and you want to make sure the bearings have somewhere to go, just don't hit yourself. Just like that, that one dropped out. Flip it over. You can see it's gone. Same thing for this side. They don't come out easy, sometimes you gotta hit them at 12, 6, 3, 9. But most times on the lawnmowers they pop right out. It's a Mayhew brand bearing race punch. And then most times, if there's grease in here and it looks good, it's still fluid, you can leave it in there. If not, if it looks bad, you're going to have to clean it all out. But you want to clean at least the edge where your new bearings are going in and out. And this part's pretty easy. You just take a little bit of grease around the edge of the new bearing these are flanged they got a lip that can only go one way and that's how you know they're bottomed out you make sure this is clean up here and even it appears to be pretty decent actually and if they go right in you can just pop them right in if they fight you take a socket make sure the socket's rotting on the outside lip not the inner seal or the inner bearing so you want to make sure you got the right size socket. Just drop it in like that. Make sure it's sitting flush all the way around. Make sure that top lip's sealed again, or clean rather. A little bit of fresh grease. And again, since these are sealed bearings, the grease on the inside is not going to penetrate the seal, but they will last a long time. They're designed to last this way. It's up to you if you want to pull the seal off. Then every time you pump grease in this fitting, the grease goes in between the tube and pushes out into these bearings. Once you remove this black seal, it's really easy to take out with the O-ring pick. Depends on, on what your maintenance is like or if your customer has an idea what a grease gun is or not. Again, you can get them in there or you can take a socket or a bearing bearing or seal driver this one's fighting a little bit there it goes. make sure it's flush there we go you can feel them bottom out wipe it off so you can see wipe the fitting off and just check all the way around Seated all the way in there, it's flush, and that's that. New bearings. I'll show you how to put them on, it's pretty simple. Put the tire on. You want to just grease up your, your axle spindle shaft, slide these on, and then retain it with whatever retaining system you have. So, here we're just throwing some grease on the shaft. Now, the important thing here is you want to make sure there's a spacer, shim wash, or whatever you want to call it, on uh, both sides if you can get them. If not, then get the one on the outside against the cotter key, uh, cotter key or the snap rings. That way it's some protection and keeping the bearings off the uh, retaining device. There should be very little play back and forth from, from the inside to the outside of the wheel, but you want a tiny bit. You don't want this uh, wheel and bearings rubbing on that cotter key and washer uh, with pressure. You want a little bit of slide back and forth, but not much. So put a washer and cotter key on both sides and don't forget your dust cap after you do that and you're good to go.